tutorial will be just going over the basics, um, installing movement UI, that kind of thing. Alright, so right off the bat, you're going to need the uh, well, the client. We're using the Inpour Yelm, Yelm, the IPY patch. Um, it's a free shard, free server, and it's uh, pretty good. It's player run. They listen to the community. It's what I play. It's good fun. So, anyways, you're going to want to do a Google search for that, or just copy that. I'll probably have it in the description. Click Enter Britannia. Now you're going to want to download the classic client, the patch that will allow you to play on the free server, and uh, one other program. This program is called Razor. And uh, basically it's the cutting edge UO assistant. It, um, it's a macro program, hotkey program, extended options program. It's, um, it's all around pretty necessary to play, uh, to play UO in any sort of uh, competitive means. And um, it's what I used to run it. I probably wouldn't play it without it, so it's a good idea to go ahead and get that. So anyways, start up Razor. Okay, this will be the first screen that you see when you start up Razor. Um, there might be a little message that says uh, default profile did not load. That's fine, that's normal behavior for the first time it starts off. Just go ahead and click OK. Alright, so here we go. This is the uh, the game screen right here. This is the Razor screen. I'll worry about that in a moment. Uh, let's focus on this right now. Um, now, if you're playing on the IPY patch and you want to make a, an, an account, all that you need to do is type in your account name and your password. It'll make you an account name and a password. Uh, you don't need to register or anything like that. So just go ahead and type in uh, whatever you like. I'm going to do uh, app tutorial and password. And then click this little arrow. Alright, and then, uh, well, there's only one shard, so go ahead and click on that. Alright, here's the character creation screen. Um, now this is all just how you look. Uh, it doesn't affect your play style at all. Um, you can go ahead and select your hairstyle, your facial hairstyle, skin tone, pants, shirts, hair, whatever. Um, unfortunately, you can't be an elf or a gargoyle, only humans, male, female, whatever you like. Um, so let's go ahead and make this guy. Hmm. <laughs> a page boy looks pretty good. Maybe a, uh, maybe a long beard and mustache. Let's uh, go ahead and have that nice orangey-yellow color. Uh, what's something that says, don't mess with me? There we go. Nothing is more intimidating than uh, royal blue. And uh, nice and pasty, because we're playing Ultima Online. For the character name, you can choose whatever you like, um, within reason. Uh, no spaces, I don't think you can have numbers, so I'll do something zany-like. After tutorial, because I'm just leeching out creativity. Alright, so once you have that all set up, you like how you look, go ahead and accept this character. Alright, now here's where you're going to choose a trade for your character. Um, these are all of the pre-made ones, and you'll note that it also has an advanced option. Basically, this starts you off with a certain amount of um, starting stats, uh, starting equipment, that kind of thing. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to start off with a mage. However, I, I will show you the advanced options. Um, strength, dexterity, intelligence. You can, uh, can set these however you like. And then, uh, right here, you choose three different skills and have those leveled up to whatever you like. That's a bit more advanced, and this tutorial is really just covering the basics, so I won't worry about that too much for right now. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and click mage, because I'm magical in the game anyways. <coughs> anyways, so let's just go ahead and maximize this. Now, what are we looking at? Well, this is called the UI, the user interface. This is what you play the game in, basically. Um, there's the Razor screen and this screen. I'll refer to the Razor screen as the Razor screen and this screen as the game screen. So, there's just a little starting message. You can right-click to close that. Here's this book that you'll never use. Right-click to close that. And I'm just going to move stuff around a little bit so I'm a bit more comfortable with it. There we go. Nice big map. Move the character screen. Move that. Move that. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Well, we'll just start at the top. This is what I like to call the, uh, the top bar. The hot bar, whatever you like to call it. Um, you can toggle your map. Big and small. Toggle your paper doll or character screen. Uh, let's say I close that it back up again. Click to drag. Inventory opens and closes. Um, 
journal, same deal, chat, help, etc. Um, the etc. button is what I just refer to it as, the Codex of Wisdom. This is fantastic. I wish I had this when I first started off. Um, basically, if you ever think, man, I want to know more about stats, because I'm just that boring, just go ahead and click stats, dexterity, tell you all about stamina. It'll tell you everything that you've ever wanted to know about stamina. So that's pretty cool. I'd investigate that a bit on your own. Alright, right here is the paper doll. This is your character screen. This is uh, the representation of you and your awesome royal blue clothing. Uh, so your inventory bag. You can open it right from there if you like. Spellbook, etc. Um, help option, which is the same as up there. Option and options, which are uh, game options. You can set the mouse, the display, that kind of thing. Um, go through that and it's mostly preference. Um, log out, it's pretty self explanatory. Quests, which is a button that I've never pressed. Skills, which is actually really helpful. Um, I always like to keep that open, I'll go over that in a second. Guild, another press, another button I've never pressed. And uh, peace, I'll go over this one for a second. Basically, you press this, your guy gets all hunched over and angry. And what does that mean? Well, let's say you're out in the wild, you see some critter you just really want that critter dead. If you press war, if you double click that guy, you'll just start attacking him. No pretense, just go up and punch him right in the face. Now, I'm kind of a nice guy. You know, this kind of this kind of says, you know, let's talk it out. We can we can handle this like men. This says I'm going to stab you in the gut and take your quarters. So, I like to keep it at peace. I'm also a mage, so I'm kind of a wuss. Status. Now, this is important. This just basically shows you your stats. Uh, Strength, dexterity, intelligence, hit points, stamina, mana. This is your total maximum stats. This is your luck. I'm not very lucky. Here's your weight. Your pet amount. You can um, you can tame pets in the wild, and uh, they'll start to follow you around. You can have five of them. This just kind of keeps track if you're blind. Um, although that wouldn't really help much, since you'd have to see that. This is your gold amount. Your maximum attack amount. I usually like to keep it uh, in the minimized mode. It just shows your health, your mana, and your stamina. It's kind of more helpful. So anyways, we're standing at these stairs. I want to get right here. How do I do that? Well, arrow keys don't work. WASD. Nah. What you gotta do is Diablo style. Right click. Just hold until you get there. It's pretty awesome. Right click and drag. Drag a little bit further. You start to run. That's pretty cool. Let's say, alright, I'm standing here at the signpost. I want to get to that cool tile. I really don't want to spend the time dragging to that tile. What do you do? Well, you just simply double right click. And you'll use the awesome pathfinding and you'll get mostly there. So that's pretty cool. 